And good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Your girl did not wash her hair yet. Now, you saw how it was looking in that last video, honey. Let me tell you. The comb out was something else. My God. I mean, my God. Okay. I went to comb that hair out, honey. I was like, whoo. Talk about tender headedness, okay? Um, so, but I was able to take, I had some small, I had a small, very, very tiny curl line. I think it's probably about this big. And I just kind of wand curled the the ends after I combed it out. And it actually doesn't look bad. I mean, it kind of kind of came back to life a little bit. You know, I mean, it's a little, little poof in the back. But, you know, praise God, we're going to work with it. It is already 40-some degrees outside. Child, feeling good. Feeling good. But don't you know they're talking about some more daggone snow this coming week? My goodness. Oh, Lord. Let me put some lotions on my hands before I take off. Um. Yeah, I'm getting my lotion. Boss man just sent me some pictures. Let me see what those look like. Because I told him. Um, well, I took some pictures before I got in the car. Cause I got something to my mama and uh so he just sent them to me so I need to see what those look like I probably send those before I get to church I need to make one little brief little stop I want to go and grab some uh well I don't want to be late though it's I said I was leaving early today because baby let me tell you I don't want to be late like I was last Sunday okay so I'm gonna stop by hopefully Dollar Tree just to grab some mints from my purse and then go on to church. So it's 10 23. Church starts at 11. Dollar Tree's on the way. <laughs> so hopefully, praise God, um, I'll be able to make it there. I will post the pictures that Boss Man took at the end of this video so you can see how I'm dressed for um, Black History Sunday. You know, I told you they wanted to wear a little African garbs and stuff. And so I didn't put on full on, um, like African robe today. I have on a skirt that's really cute and pretty. And then I have on my Black Queen t-shirt. Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> anyway, anyhow. So... Like I said, I'm going to Dollar Tree. I'm going to pick up just a bag of mints or something. Either mints, gum, something. I don't know. Because um, I like to always have something, you know, especially when you're singing and all that stuff. Um, oh, I just love my skirt. I love my skirt, but let me tell you something. My skirt is fitting. And when I say fitting, I mean fitting. Like, it barely went over my hips and my butt to get to my waist. It's not tight though. Like, I mean, I'm sitting here and I don't feel like tightness or anything. But that initial pull on was something else. Ugh. But I'm not going to complain. Next year I'll be more prepared. It'll be fine. Um, So I don't want nobody to think, like, oh my gosh, last video of Boss Lady, you was just complaining, complaining, complaining. Um, When I did that video, it was truly, truly. So that video that you that you're actually seeing today, Sunday, um, it was recorded on Saturday, and it may seem like I was complaining. I I was very bothered, yes, but really wasn't complaining, so to speak. Just kind of just giving an update of where I was or where my head was at or whatever. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, no one can make me make me or break me when it comes to my finances um but you know just just the you know I don't know why people feel the need to insert themselves in business that's not theirs and I don't know how I gave anyone the indication that they can insert themselves into my financial business because I, I don't ever be like oh you now I tell anybody all the time I'm broke. And that's true. And the reason why is because, you know, I have my money set up the way I have it set up. So, 
You know, don't come asking me, begging me, wanting me, because no, I'm broke. Because I have my money aligned the way it is, right? Um, but you're always shopping. That's my pocketbook. I mean, excuse me. So anyway, but um, so I didn't want nobody to really take it as negative. Negative. I'm sure some did. I'm sure people were in their feelings like, oh my god, and nah, nah, nah. You see my face, right? It's Sunday morning. <laughs> So anyway, oh, I want to get my car wash. That would be lovely today. But um, definitely, I'm, you know, if I say no, it's no. And if I say yes, it's yes. That's it. You know, but just the fact of giving me tidbits on a way to go around the system you know, it's one thing, it's one thing when you're like a couponer or, are they open? What time is it? It's after 10. Um, it's one thing like if you're a couponer or if you go and like, oh, it's a 9% off sale, you know, get in on this sale. But it's another thing when you sit up here and you like trying to fraud the system. I'm sorry. Because I'm just not, I'm not here for that. I think I'm going to back in. It'd be easier to pull on out. But you know, I'm just, I'm not here for the fraud in other system. I'm just not. So, and that's why I shop at Dollar Tree, and that's why I shop 90% off, and that's why I go to discount, you know, grocery stores and all those good things, because that's just what it is. That's how I save money. That's how I'm able to get what I need to get, and don't have fit. Alright, hang tight. Okay, I'm back. Ooh, it's almost 1040. I gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. It's 1038. <sighs> <clears throat> I was in there trying to get my stuff right and uh whoo grace and mercy grace and mercy is all I can say grace and mercy all right it's time to go we gotta get to gotta get to church so I'm trying to decide should I go the back way in should I go the front way in um I just don't want to get caught by the train again I'm thinking to save my sanity <laughs> and to keep me from being in, you know, having the temptation to fuss, let me just go on and go the back way in. It's going to take me a little, I won't say a little longer, but it's going to take me a minute to figure out what street I need to turn on. But I think it'll be easier because I can beat the train. Um, so, I did get my mints, and gosh, there was a big old bag of mints. I thought, well, because you know how, like, you get candy or whatever from Dollar Tree, and it don't be a whole lot in the bag, but it was a lot in this bag. I don't know how many's in here, but oh, wee. And I got the green and white. So, anyway... So, I'm going to show you the pictures that, um, like I said, at the end of the video that Boss Man took. He he did one where my eyes was closed, but he was like, well, you're still smiling. I'm like, yeah, but that's not what I wanted. Oh, but I'll show you guys. And then what he did was he took the background out because I'm leaning against the car. Like, I got my arm up on the car. So, it looks it looks weird to me. I Yeah. You know what, actually, I'm not going to show you that picture because I don't like it. Oh, that's the one thing that I do love about having cell phone. You know, you can, um, you know, about having a cell phone, you can have uh, multiple options. So, shoot. Because I'm like, I don't, I don't like that, that video, or not video, but that picture. So, anyway, trying to, I'm trying to remember how to get to church without going the, the, the way that I normally go. Because the way that I normally go, I love going that way. This other way, it's like I got to go through neighborhood after neighborhood to get there. So, but it's 1041. I want to be in there before 11 o'clock. That's my thing. That's what I want. Um, so, we shall see. And I know I normally leave late. Well, I won't say late. But I normally leave like 10.45 going. 
And so that train must come about 10.50. And I just don't want to be caught by the train today, for real. So, yeah. So it's not this exit. It's the next exit. But then I got to figure out how far down do I go. And then how do I cut over. Yeah. So I think I know. But you know how when you don't do something on a regular, it's like... But the Lord will provide and he will guide me. I know that. Um, but yes, yeah, so I went back to that video. I don't want people thinking like, oh my gosh, she's so harsh. And she did that. No. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, okay, I'm going to turn on this street. I think I need to turn the next street. Um, and we go alphabetical. But I think... I do think I can get there from this street. So, it's 1044. We're on the other side of the train tracks. So, that's the plus. That's the plus in all this. We're on the other side of the train tracks. And I know it's on... See, this is 56. So, it's on 50th. So, it's six blocks down and a couple blocks this way is all I remember. I think. So, fingers crossed that we make it to church on time because I can't remember. I'm so serious. I've only driven this way to go to the school that's across the street from like once or twice. So, I don't remember. And I have to remember to redo my nail when I get home. Okay, this is 53rd. All right, all right, all right, all right. We getting closer, y'all. We getting closer to church. I don't know who's preaching today. I don't know if it's Pastor Emeritus or if it's Pastor, Pastor Cousin. Hopefully it's Pastor Cousin because I really would like to hear him preach today. Um, okay, this is 52nd. Oh, Lord. Okay, wait a minute now. Mm. Ooh. Uh-oh. This is 51st, but this... Okay, wait a minute. Oh, this might be... <laughs> Look at God. Hallelujah. I thought it was on 50th. It's on 51st. Praise God. The school was on 50th. I came right to it. Hey. <laughs> and it's 1045. Okay. Yes. So. Whew. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, there's an older man parked over there. So I'm going to park over here. Because, you know, I just, I don't trust. I don't care, old or not, you know. They got grubby hands. You just never know. And I don't want to have to beat him in the name of Jesus trying to get me. 1046 now. All right. Yay, I made it to church on time. Take my water because last week I had got a tickle. Yeah, and that's the reason why I bought the mints. Because I had got a tickle and I was like, oh my God. And you know, and me telling people I'm just coming out of being sick. I don't want people to think I still had it. So I was like, oh my Lord. So I'm going to take my little bottle of water in. Cousin First Lady be having her water. So I'm like, listen. And then too, if they want me to be singing, honey, listen. Okay. Now, I'm not taking this big old monstrous bag. This is, let's say, net weight, 12 ounces. I don't know how many is in here, but I'm not taking this whole bag. So I'm just going to throw a handful in my purse. And then I'll just put the rest in my armrest. And then that way I always know I have some. Yeah. That's more than enough. And look, I still got, what, half a bag? That's like two more handfuls. So... And I'm about to eat that whole handful at church. I already got a piece in my mouth. I think I'm going to save this bag. I was looking for a bag yesterday for something. And I don't recall what it was for. But I'm going to save this bag. And I'll put it in my little... Can I... Oh, there it goes. Can I fit it in there? Hooey. All right. We're going to go to church. So, Father God... Who I thank you and I praise you. I thank you that we got to church on time today. Lord, I thank you that the traffic was good today, good to me. Lord, I don't know what that lady was going through inside Dollar Tree. But I ask whatever evil spirits that she had upon her, that you remove them right now in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we're going in here. We're going to have a hallelujah good time. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, see y'all at church. 
Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's after church. It's 134. We have baptism today, so um I stay for baptism and plus I wanted to talk with my um cousin first lady because um I, I yeah, so I'm not gonna tell you the verbatim, but anyway. I'm going to let the, the sermon play, so I'm not going to talk too long. But his topic was be encouraged and um, came out of my favorite scripture. When he started, when he pulled up that scripture, tears sprang to my eyes. I was crying like, oh, my Jesus. Um, he came out of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. Verse 7 is my absolute favorite. One being because that is the scripture that... Um, we used for my father when my father passed away. We had a deacon who at, at our church now, um, who passed away recently. And so they, I noticed that there was a memorial chair sitting on the deacon side, but I didn't know why. And it was all black draped in a white satin um, sash with his name on it and I think I said in memory of and then there was white flowers and tool and stuff and then of course you know they talked about him passing and I was just like wow I mean wow um, before I get before I let you guys listen to the sermon I am going to tell you um, something that happened at church today and <laughs> Something happened at church today, and this is one reason why a lot of people leave the church. As I didn't go to praise and worship rehearsal, um, one reason being I had something to do. Um, the second reason is the praise and worship leader did not contact me. So, you know, um, she asked me to text her. I did. I texted her last Sunday, um, actually before I left the church, and then um, she never... <laughs> she never responded. So, okay. Um, I'm going to tell you about the flesh and then I'm going to tell you about the spirit. So, the flesh, meaning sin, <clears throat> she walks in in a cat suit. Now, I was raised old school Baptist. You come as you are. And when you know better, you do better. So, and one thing that my first pastor, my sister's um, grandfather taught us ladies is that, you know, you may come in straight from the club. So, you know, short skirt and split up to here and whatever. But once you come in, you give your life to Christ, you become a new, new creature. And when you become a new creature, the mothers of the church, the deaconess of the church, are to teach you and train you and assist you in changing your ensemble. This woman came in with a cat suit. Now, I don't know if she had a BBL. I don't know her story. But the shape of her looks as if it was a BBL situation. Um, and that's just out of order. Now, y'all gonna say I'm judging. Like I said, this is my flesh speaking. This is not the spirit. Y'all gonna say I'm judging, but whatever. And so I saw that and I was like, okay. But she's been to church longer than me. So once again, when you know better, you do better. Um... She approached me and was like, I thought you were coming to. Now, had this been 1995, like I told Cousin First Lady, space and opportunity. There's a whole parking lot. What? You, what, what, what? But this is 2024. And I know better. So I do better. And I said... I text you because she. I thought you were gonna call me. I said I text you. When? No, you didn't. I didn't get no text from you. I pulled up my phone, showed her the text when it went out, and she was like, "Well, I, I don't see nothing." And so then she realized 
oh, I don't have you saved in my phone. Oh, so in, as opposed to it going to my my saved list, it went to my all list or so. I don't know how. She's got an iPhone. I don't know nothing about iPhone. That's all boss man, whatever. So anyway, uh-huh. So then she sees it. Well, can you put your, your name in my phone so I, I know it's you? Uh-huh. So are, are you wanting to, to join the choir? I said, I'm praying on it. Because at that point, she had already pushed me to my my limit. And like I told Cousin First Lady, um, I'm not going to be pressured to do anything. And I'm not going to be embarrassed by no means. Because we do Facebook Live every single Sunday. So that means whoever has access, meaning my mama's church, all other churches, people in the world will see me up there singing with this woman who is dressed and not decent and in order. I take issue with that. So I'm like, mm, what time is practice? Because see, she's already lied to me. She said practice was at 1230. That's one reason why I didn't make it yesterday because I was busy at 1230. Today she tells me practice is at 120. So I said, okay, I'm going to put it in my phone. So service went on and she's prancing and popping and so I leaned over to first lady and I said first lady I know I told you that I was going to join praise and worship I know I told you that the praise and worship team I said but I'm yet praying and she said we gonna talk so we just finished talking that's one reason why I'm still here and she said um because I told her, I said, there needs to be some uniforms, some some uniforms or choir robes or something. Because I'm not willing to be embarrassed like that. I said, look, you dress refined. I dress how I dress. Uh-uh. I said, look, I just got me a brand new yellow and black uh, skirt and top. I want to wear the shirt. I'm not coming up in here looking decent and in order and then be put on Facebook and be shamed. No. I said, and then, and then my first lady said, yeah, and I don't like the way this side eye stuff is do going on either during the actual service. And I said, well, flesh and blood didn't reveal that. That was all the spirit. Because literally during the service, she was, there's a guy who came from, first lady in pastor's church previous church he joined and he immediately joined the choir well i don't like i said there the sound is not 100 percent, and you know it is what it is but she the leader feels that she is doing all that she can do and that he's out of order so she's sitting there she's singing and literally, you see her doing this. Like, get on key. I, I cannot. I, can't. <laughs> I cannot. If I'm not going to allow those children at my job to disrespect me, if I'm not going to allow that staff at my job to disrespect me, if I'm not going to allow disrespect in my home, I for daggone sure am not going to allow disrespect in my church home. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but then, um, there was also a situation where I think you guys have possibly heard about this um, thing called the Kia Boys or whatever. That they're going and stealing cars. It's a it's really big here in Minnesota. I know it's should be big or not should be, but I thought it was big in other states too. Well, anyway, while we were in service, somebody's car vehicle was getting broken into. Like literally, they come running. Someone came running through the church, jumping on the mic, talking about somebody's vehicle is getting broken into, which disrupted our service because we were still quote unquote in service because it was time for baptism. 
So that was interesting. But overall, I was definitely encouraged. Um, I do have to tell you this before I play the sermon. <clears throat> Half the sermon you're not going to get. Why? Because I messed up. I was um recording. I was recording and then I went to put the phone down in the back of the pew and it dropped. And I was like, oh my God. So I was like, clank, 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 you know. And so I went to pick it up and I hit stop. So the first part of the <laughs> the first part of the message didn't even get. He did a whole like black history, um, like last famous words of several um several folks in the black history um list i know he did harriet tubman oh my gosh hold on let me see if i can catch it real quick no, don't don't swerve now because i wrote the names down he did harriet tubman john lewis i don't know what this person got going on yeah we we're not doing that um, anyway, Harriet Tubman, John Lewis, Wilma Rudolph, Martin Luther King Jr., um, Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali, Maya Angelou, and one other person. Oh, and then he talked about Apostle Paul. So I really wish that I had that part of it, but so sorry. It just, it is what it is. Oh, wait, I don't know what's going on. Child, look, I, I don't normally come this way. So whatever this person got going on with this car, I don't know. But anyway, but we're not going to get discouraged. We're just going to go ahead about business and uh, call it a day. So, yeah, so anyway, I, you know. I'm, I'm yet holding on. I, and the other thing, too, I don't like, because um, praise and worship. So, like, there's two choir stands, and I'm trying to figure out why. So, there's one choir stand that's right next to, like, literally right next to the, the band, you know. And then there's a choir stand that's right behind the pastor. I don't understand why. Yeah, that person, they I think they stole that car or something. Because anyway. Woo, let me let me get off these roads. Cause honey, you saw I pulled my car over because he was flying up like crazy. I'm like, oh no, you, you go right ahead. Do what you gotta do. Stay away from me. Don't hit my car. But um but I don't understand why we got these two different choir stands. But then when I first started, the praise and worship team was standing over in front of the um the band at that choir stand but now they make them come out front and I'm just like why and maybe that would be if they stay in the choir stand maybe I wouldn't feel some kind of way but I'm just like why are you cause then then you really see the cat suit and the inappropriate clothing and you know what I mean and you know no disrespect to our pastor emeritus but He's all for going up front. You know, he's an old man. He ain't got no wife. Maybe he like looking at that. But baby, look, I ain't for the prancing around. I ain't for the advertisement of nothing boss man has. So therefore, you know what I mean? So I don't know. That's just my 59 cent. Um, while I love my church home, I just don't, I'm not down with that stuff. So... But first lady just encouraged me. She said, go to the rehearsal, you know. And um, she said, don't do, don't have a takeover spirit. I said, oh, no, I'm going to sit back and watch. <laughs> I'm going to sit back and watch. She said, and then, you know, maybe just give some encouraging words. Of, well, let's try this or let's try that. And I'm just like, because, mm. see, I start doing that. It's, it's definitely going to be takeover spirit. I'm just, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest because, honey, I'm like, listen. It is, it's supposed to be one voice, one sound. Sorry. So, I don't know. <sighs> Pastor want me to join the praise and work because he, he's like, oh, she can sing? Yeah, can we please? 
have a change? Seriously. He's like really all for it. So I don't know. I'm going to have to get with First Lady and, and chit chat with her and just figure out, okay, you know, we're going to talk about some more. I want to know about the different entities, different roles of the church and then put it all on the altar, give it to God and let him say, okay, baby girl, this is what I want you to do. That's where I'm at. So with that being said, let me go. I'm about to go get dinner for the family and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye. Somebody to be encouraged. Amen. 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 How do I handle the death of a father? How do I deal with situations of a report that illness has infected my body? I'll tell you. Stay in the word. Mm -hmm. Be encouraged. Mm -hmm. Talk all the time in church about this is why we come to church. We come to church for these moments of grief. We come to church because we're depending on somebody that's able to change our service. Uh -huh. Are y'all in the witness room? Right. I'm talking about somebody that can help you. Somebody that you can lean on. Uh -huh. Somebody that said that he'll be closer than a brother. He'll be closer than a father. He, yeah. he can always count on him. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I need the Lord. Uh -huh. I need it in these times of despair. And these words that Paul tells Timothy, hits Timothy, with the reality that Paul had handed off the baton to him. Mm -hmm. Now he had to continue and he had to be encouraged. Uh -huh. My brothers and sisters, we too have to be encouraged. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to find God when you have lost your job. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard to find God when you got this car and at the time you were able to pay for it. But now it's gone. And now you're wondering where it is. Where is God? And I just stopped by to encourage somebody that he's still on the throne. Yeah. He's still watching. He's still sitting there watching your every move. And in spite of everything that you're facing, God is still with you. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, let me say that again. In spite of everything that you're facing, God is still with you. Oh, yes. And you can count on him and you can yeah. depend yeah. on him. Yeah. Am I preaching to somebody in here today? Yeah. Because it, 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 it just reminds me of when. I was thinking about this and I was and this in my sermon, I was just thinking about how, how, how some of these sports players made a number of the Ohio State football team, mm -hmm. along with the Miami Hurricanes. Mm -hmm. And Miami had won 15 games in a row. And they were one the Ohio State was wondering, how can I defeat these people? And the coach took them in the locker room and gave them one last pep talk before the game. Mm -hmm. He says, I need you to go out on that field and lay it all out on the line. Yeah. This is our last game, so we might as well lay it on the line. Uh -huh. And he posed a good question. He asked the team, he said, how would you want to be remembered? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all still think I'm talking about football. Mm -hmm. How do you want to be remembered? Mm, yeah. I think that's a good question. Yes, it is. Yeah. As a Christian, I'm asking the same question. And if you have not asked it yet, yes. today is a good place to ask yourself, uh -huh. how is it that you want to be remembered? Yeah. 
Do you want to be remembered as a low down, dirty, or oh, y'all can fill in the box? <laughs> okay. You want to be remembered as a lion, backbiting, mm. snake in the ground. <laughs> you want to be remembered as one that always bowed and never paid anybody back. Mm. Oh, my Lord. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me in here today. No, no. Y'all got paid back, but. Yeah. Let me pose the question again. How is it that you want to be remembered? Yes, sir. And you may not have thought about it much, but uh -huh. since I got the mic, yeah. and you stopped by to hit me today, <laughs> I might as well ask you, how is it that you want to be remembered? Because you may not know this, but you got an expiration date. Yeah. Amen. Oh, it ain't just on the can go in couple. It ain't just on the meat that you go out and shop and buy. It's stabbed right on your forehead. You got a date with God. And I stopped by to ask somebody, how is it you want your report to read? How is it you want God to adjust you? I don't know this story. I only know mine. I want him to tell me seven job well done. That's right. I don't know who I'm preaching to today. But there's going to come a time when you're going to have to get right up with God. Yes. And I can say this. Again, I'm going to say I got the mic. <laughs> Here for a long time. You see your love one again. You won't. Mm. If you ain't got God. The Bible says that he's coming back for the church. And you better be invested in a relationship with God. Yeah. Oh, I knew y'all weren't going to stop today. Y'all yeah. come back next week. I'll talk about y'all getting cars and houses and good jobs and money, but not this week. Yeah. This week, somebody needs Jesus. Yeah. Somebody, Jesus is summoning. Yeah. You are not here by accident, but by divine providence yes. and God is summoning you. And Paul is telling us in the text that I know my departure is at hand. Yeah. And Paul is saying that there's a train coming. Yeah. And you better get your ticket. Because it's going to be picking up some folks. And only the folks that are able to ride yeah. is the one that got their ticket. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. He says, I'm ready. He says, well, I am already being poured out of the drink off. And the time of my departure is at hand. Yeah. What Paul was referring to is that a boat being tied up on the dock. And as it's tied up, it can't go nowhere. But when you loosen the boat, the boat begins to drift out over sea. And many of you may know there's some storybooks that the boat looked like it has disappeared. But it really hadn't disappeared, it just went over the horizon. There you go. Oh, y'all ain't still going to be there. Yeah. The boat just went over the horizon. Yeah. In other words, I uh, got some family on that side. Uh -huh. And I got some family on this side. Uh -huh. And on the side, that way you can't see me. I'm moving into the horizon of God. Yeah. And there ought to be a praying church. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Saying there's going to come a time <laughs> that you're going to move into the horizon yeah. of God. Uh, the family won't be able to see you. Uh, but God sees me. Uh, and I'm getting excited already uh, about being in his presence. Uh, because the Bible says uh, the ears have not heard. Uh, oh, I wish I had a Yeah. 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 All right. My Lord. 
Lord, enter into the hearts of men. The great thing that God has in store for us. Yeah. But here's the, the shout. I um, told y'all I'm going to keep it on with that. Paul says that not only am I being pulled out, but I have fought the good fight. Y'all look at churchy now, but y'all ain't always in the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you can walk home. Like, don't mess with my little sister. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about my mom. Those are fighting. Mm -hmm. Fighting words. Yeah, tell story. And sometimes, folk will fight time, too. Yeah, yeah sir. They'll fight time, low down. Come on, yeah. man. Grabbing stuff. Trying to hit you in the head with it. They go off on the wheel. Yeah. They ain't trying to fight, but they just look down. Mm. Matter of fact, it wasn't even my son. I was just thinking about this one. I always talk to my wife and my daughter, and we always, how this is thing? We've been together 30 years. Just got married. Got married 21 years ago. And I think right now we can be a little poster child for them. Married couple because right. you can ask me how we did it. You gotta learn. We almost didn't make it now. I ain't gonna know that, but that's enough. <laughs> that's right. Oh, man, no that's right. Okay, no okay. You can. But, but you gotta learn how to, how to fight. Mm -hmm. Tell my daughter all the time, too, when you're in a relationship, you gotta learn how to, how to fight. Mm -hmm. It's okay to have disagreements. Yeah. It's okay not to be on the same page, okay. but stop throwing them words out. Mm. That's it. The B word. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about both mama and yeah. talking about both dad. Come on, man. All right. Then we even talk about children because they ain't our kids. They ain't my bottom up kids, step kids. So <laughs> your kids are terrible and bad. So we just say stuff that we can't take back. That's right. That's that's, right. that's dirty fight. That sure yes, is. Yes, Lord. You gotta learn how to fight. That's right. I just get the remote and go on downstairs. Mm. Better fight the world. That's right. Mm. And I seen something on Facebook one time and said that this is how we make up. We come up about two hours later. Say, you see the sugar? <laughs> we're looking at the refrigerator. <laughs> That's our way of talking, communicating. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes you have to be able to fight a good fight. Uh -huh. Yeah, the Bible says that Jesus said that when he slapped you on one cheek, mm. oh, I got some Bible news. Yeah. Right. 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 Turn the other cheek. Yeah, Jesus said that they're trying to sue you to take your, your shirt. Oh, I got somebody to give me a, give me a coat. In other words, what Jesus was saying is that don't get caught up in all that mischief. Fight a good fight. And one thing I like about Peter Pichard is that he fought a, a good fight. In spite of somebody that he loved and wouldn't get him, him around. I didn't know Peter as long as y'all did, but the year that I've been knowing him, I knew he had a good heart here. Give me a ride. He fought a good fight. Came and did what the church asked him to do. Good people. Because he fought a good fight. Every time you turn around, somebody's talking about you. But I don't care about that because I'm fighting on. A good fight. Yeah. Yeah. Deep said, even when a heart attack came, yeah. I didn't let go down without swing. Yeah. I kept on fighting. Yeah. And he just passed last Sunday. Yeah. But he kept on fighting. Yeah. And I need some Christians yeah. that are willing to fight a good fight. In spite of everything that the devil is throwing at me.
remember even when we had lunch now. I announced to the church, come out and get a word. When I got there at 10 o'clock, I looked out in the audience and I seen people. Yeah, yeah. 10 o'clock at night. I said, nah, I wouldn't ask. I said, how'd you get here? He said, he drove. He didn't come to the world best. He came because he was fighting a, a good fight. Yeah. I don't know who I'm preaching to today. But when I talk to church folk, tell them don't join based on your relationship with me. That's right. Base, join based on your relationship with God. Oh, yes. And when it's all said and done, yeah. you want God to say that you follow a okay. good fight. Yeah. Oh, yes. He says, not only did I fight to fight, mm. he says, I, I finished. Hey, yes, of course. I finished the, uh -huh. the work. Mm. I like what Paul said. He didn't say he, he won. Right, right. He said he finished. Uh -huh. Too many Christians want to win the race. Yeah. That's right. I don't have to win. Mm -hmm. I just want to finish. Yeah. Matter of fact, I just want to be in the race. Right. Folks. And I have to look at this Pastor Robinson when them folks run the marathon. And I said, no, there's 5,000 people in there. And the guy that started and started from the way back to all the other folks is up front. He can't. He ain't got a chance to win. <laughs> but as I looked at the text, and I thought I understood Paul's situation. A lot of them ain't trying to win. They just want to run the race. Yes. They just want to be in the race. Mm -hmm. They just want to get to the finish line and say that they finished. Right. And y'all probably still think I'm talking about track and feet. But now I'm talking about Christians. There ought to be some Christians in here. They say, well, I don't have to win. I just want to get past the finish line. Oh, yes. I want to get over the finish line. I want God to say, sir. Somebody here today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fight a good fight. Yes, sir. Finish it. Mm -hmm. Deep. I'm not pushing my son. Very crazy. But I'm never Deacon too, so I don't want him to know I was a Deacon. But I meet with Deacons. I want them to know that this is going to be a tough fight. Mm. And you don't want to quit. But you got to hang in there. Because a good deacon don't stay the court. Because the more you join God's army, the more the enemy gonna try to knock you off this court. When you ain't doing that, and you clubbing it and partying and everything up under the sun, why would the devil want to mess with you? You already working for it. It's the one that's trying to quit. It's the one that's trying to get their assignment in church. It's the one that's reading the Bible. It's the one that's going to Bible study. It's the one that's going to Sunday school. It's the one that keeps on trying to join God's Oh, yes. All right. And I'll stop by the tragedy. Stay the course. The deacon and child, bro. I've been there. But here's what I love about God is that when I was a deacon, there were many times I wanted to quit. Come on. But if I had quit, I had not would not have gotten the assignment that God has for me right now. Oh, yeah. Who am I preaching to? Right. God has got an assignment for you. Oh, yeah. The only way you're gonna fulfill that assignment, you have to stay in the race. Yeah. You have to stay in it. Even when time and you never know what God has in store for you. Wish I would put you to some back. You got to believe God. We hang our whole hat on keeping the faith. Paul says, not only Paul says I, 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 I fought a good fight, uh -huh. says not only have I Fingers, but I kept the faith. Yeah. That's why I go to a Baptist church. Because yeah. the Baptists believe in the faith of God. Yeah. Yeah. 
one faith, one baptism. Oh, I wish I had a plan. Oh, yes. You got to keep the faith. Yes. Because in spite of it all, the enemy is going to try to break you. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's going to try to get you to quit believing. Uh -huh. Stop. Put money in the church. Stop going to that church. Yeah. Stop getting up every Sunday morning and going there for what? You ought to look back at him and tell him because if I had not been in church, yeah. I would have been dead a long time ago. Yeah. I truly believe that God preserves those who are in his way. Yeah. And I don't have to get nobody to testify for me. I know that I'm in the will of God. And I ain't going to break for nobody. I'm keeping the faith. And I wish I had a Baptist church. And if somebody says, I'm keeping my faith in the Lord. Yeah. He says, I fought a good fight. I finished the race. I kept the faith. And henceforth, they have made up for me. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch it. That was our stuff. That was our stuff. Because y'all was depending on me, though. Give it to you. He says, henceforth they laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Oh, yes. In other words, what Paul was saying is that I got something waiting on me, Carolyn. Said I got something waiting on me. See, many of y'all probably don't remember gold packs. Me and Sister the Pike, they come from Hammond, Indiana. We had a place called Gold Black. And we go down to Gold Blacks and couldn't afford everything that they had. Yeah, right. So mama would just put five hours on uh -huh. and put it on that way. Yeah. And mama would keep on paying on yeah. until we got ready to go to school. Uh -huh. And we got ready to go to school, mama would go down there with that last 25 hours. Yeah. And she would pick up all that way. And what she was saying is that now that I paid it off, yes. I get a chance to pick up my product. And Paul said that I put it in the book. I paid it off. Now I can pick up my reward. And if I was in a Baptist church, there would be somebody else who is in
in them dead. Yeah. Mm. You know that bullet was meant for you. Uh -huh. Those drugs and all that dope didn't kill you because mm. you died. Mm, yes, Lord. Somebody was in a near miss accident. Yeah. Oh. Car demolished. Mm. But you're still here. Yeah. There ought to be something to celebrate about. Thank you. God could have took you out a long time ago. But it ain't the devil is keeping you. The devil wants you to That's right. But God wants to give you eternal life. Yeah. Stop by the day and encourage somebody. In spite of what you're going through, keep on fighting the good part. Finish. I got another song we're talking about. Finish. It's in our time. We're talking about finish. Today, I just wanted to introduce you to the first line that God wants you to cross today. And that's to, if you don't have a relationship, He wants you to get a relationship. If you got one and you're feeling a little down this week, be encouraged that you can keep fighting, keep the faith, and know that God is. Still on your side. Thank you, Jesus. He's a faithful God. And when it's all said and done, there's a reward. Amen. 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 Amen.